What's up guys, it's me, Zealand, here today for another video in between innings, and today I'm doing kind of how the MLB season, how I predict it will go out, what teams will make the playoffs, who's going to win it all, all that good stuff. I'll make more prediction videos for the MLB, like award winners, all that good stuff in a couple of days. Um, really hyped about getting back into baseball. I started the channel back in October when baseball was ending, so I just got to do like playoff week review, uh, playoff round reviews. Even though my name is Between Innings, a literal baseball name, all my videos have been primarily football and then some basketball mixed in there because baseball ended like right when I started. So really excited to get back into baseball because uh, basketball and student football is not till August. So I'm going to be doing baseball for a couple months. But yeah, I'm going to go over the eight teams that I think will be in the playoffs in each league, who wins each division all that stuff, and then how the playoffs work out. So let's start off with the AL. Ooh, hold on. Let me see this really quick. I'm getting messed up because I see um, it has a grapefruit and cactus league, which they, so I need to go back a year so I can see. Okay, so now I see the AL. So, in the American League East, oh, also, I don't know if the quality is better. I just got a new iPhone 11. I had an iPhone 8. This is my mom's old phone, but I hope the quality is better, and it should be. It's a little bit bigger, and it looks better on the screen. But, um, yeah, I hope it's a little bit better for you guys. So, let's get right into it. For the NL East, there's five teams. The Tampa Bay Rays, the Boston Red Sox, the New York Yankees, the Toronto Blue Jays, and the Baltimore Orioles. So the team that I think is going to win that division is honestly the Boston Red Sox. It's a really tough division with the Rays and the Yankees in there. And hey, don't forget the Blue Jays. They're really good too. But honestly, I'm going to have to go with the Red Sox. They just got Trevor Story. They still have a lot of good uh, players like Xander Bogarts and um, Rafael Devers. Really, really good team. And I think they end up winning that division. So they're number well i won't go over the standings yet for the league but i think the red sox win the al east and the al central we have the chicago white Sox, the cleveland guardians now i almost said indians detroit tigers kansas city royals and minnesota twins and this i think the Sox are an immediate win for this division they are easily the best team can't wait to see um tim anderson have an amazing year this year Really excited for that. Then, so I think they win easily the, the AL Central, the White Sox. And then finally, we have the AL West, the Houston Astros, the Seattle Mariners, the Oakland Athletics, the Texas Rangers, and the Los Angeles Angels. I think this one's hard, but I think this goes to the Astros again. They've just been dominating the division over and over every year, and I think they continue that. So my three AL division winners are the Tampa Bay Rays, the White Sox, and the Astros. Yeah, sorry. Okay, then National League. Okay, National League, we have the NL East. So then we have in that division, we have the Atlanta Braves, the Philadelphia Phillies, New York Mets, Washington Nationals, and Miami Marlins. Atlanta Braves just won the World Series. They're going to build on that. They did lose Freddie Freeman. They just got Kenley Jansen, though. Have a lot, of, a lot of good players, um, and I think they're going to keep building on that. Ronald Acuna Jr., once he comes back, he's going to be a beast. So I think the Braves win that division again. Then in the Central, we have the Milwaukee Brewers, the St. Louis Cardinals, the Cincinnati Reds, the Chicago Cubs, and the Pittsburgh Pirates. I think the Pittsburgh Pirates are going to win this division, honestly. No, they suck. <laughs> a joke, just because the Pirates are the worst team in the league. Anyway... Uh, I think this goes to Brewers. Yeah, I mean, hey, when you have Yelich, I think that you're you're going to win. So I have the Brewers winning that division again. And then finally, the NL West. We have the San Francisco Giants, my Los Angeles Dodgers. And hey, yeah, I am a Dodgers fan. I have this hat because I got it for fashion. I do have an excuse that my grandpa grew up south side Chicago. And my dad lived there too for quite a little bit in his childhood. So I have a connection to them. My grandpa's a diehard Sox fan. I was, they were my AL team this year, and they always are my AL team besides the Texas Rangers because I was born in Dallas. So really, Dodgers are my number one team, and then I have White Sox and Rangers are tied for two. They're my two other favorite teams just because I have the second most strongest connections to them. I've just grown up in California, which is why 
I'm a Dodgers fan first, and I've been a Dodgers fan since I was five years old. They were the that was the first sport I got into was baseball. Football I didn't get into till I was like eight, and basketball till I was nine or ten. But baseball has always been there, and I've been a Dodgers fan since day one. But White Sox and Rangers, fine, close behind. Anyway, that's the reason for that. But back to the NL West, we have the Giants, the Dodgers, the Padres, the Rockies, and the Diamondbacks. Sorry, I didn't say the say. L.A. Dodgers, San Diego Padres, Colorado Rockies, and Arizona Diamondbacks. Do I be biased or do I not be biased? Well, I don't really think it's biased to say that I think the Dodgers will win. As Even if I wasn't a Dodgers fan, I'd be taking the Dodgers. The star power that you have on this team, Max Muncy, Cody Bellinger, Mookie Betts, Clayton Kershaw, I know he's getting old, but still. Blake Trinan, we just got Craig uh, Kimbrell from the White Sox. We did lose AJ Pollock, but hey, I think we're going to be fine without him. And then we just got Freddie Freeman, Silver Slugger. So I think we're pretty set. I think the Dodgers win that division, but the Giants come in behind a close second. Padres are not yet ready for winning the division yet. I don't think that's going to happen for a couple more years till they get a little more additions. I think they just did get, um, did it, was it Adam Frazier that they got? Adam Frazier. No, not Adam Frazier. No, um, Luke Voigt, the Yankees guy. Yeah, they got him, but still, I don't think they're ready for that. So going back over my division winners were the Boston Red Sox, the White Sox, the Astros, the Braves, the Brewers, and the Dodgers. So I think the way it goes is you have the two, the two division winners with the best records. And for the AL, I think out of those three division winners, the top two records would be the Red Sox and the White Sox. So they automatically advance, and that means the Astros. There's three more wild cards, I believe. Three wild card spots, I believe. Yes. Yeah, there's three wild card spots, and the Astros would have to play one of them. So then there's four, and they play the wild card weekend. Two winners would come out, so you would have four total. Yeah. Because then you would have the divisional games, whoever win, then you have two teams to the championship, whoever wins that goes to the World Series to play the NL. So I think the Red Sox have the number one record in the league, and the White Sox are in second, and then we have the Astros in third. I say my three wildcard teams for the AL include, I think the Tampa Bay Rays fall off, I think it's the Yankees. Yankees, Mariners, mm, it's hard. Yankees, Mariners, and Blue Jays. So I'm going to go Yankees, Mariners, Blue Jays are my three wildcard teams. So let me see, what was the way... Do I have any paper to write this down? So my number one, I say my number one record would be the Red Sox, then the White Sox, then the Astros, then the Yankees, the Blue Jays, and then the Mariners. Wait, did I say Mariners? I said Mariners. So one plays, I'm thinking of the teams. One, two, three, and four. I think one plays four and two plays three. So that would mean the Astros would play the Mariners. Yes, Astros would play the Mariners and I have the Astros winning that. And that means then the, um, Blue Jays and Yankees play. I would have the Yankees winning that. So now you have number one seed would be the Red Sox, then the White Sox, then what is that? The, um, who are the Yankees with the, bro, I am faulting right now. Then the Yankees and then the Astros, I believe. Yes. So Astros would play Red Sox and I would have the Red Sox winning that. Yankees and White Sox, I would have White Sox. Now you end up with the two top teams, White Sox and Red Sox in the AL Championship game. For that, I have the Red Sox winning, and the I, of course I would want the White Sox to go, but I have the Red Sox going to the World Series as the AL team. So that's my prediction for the AL side of the playoffs. Going to the NL, so I have my number one record being the Dodgers. Then we have the Braves, yeah. Braves and then the Brewers, so one, two, and three. And my three wild card, I should be writing this down. I don't know how I'm remembering this on my head, and I'm not, I'm probably messing it up. So Dodgers, Braves, Brewers, 
And then our three wild card teams, I would have the Phillies, the Cardinals, and the Giants. Yeah, that makes sense. Not in that order. The order would be Giants, Cards, Phillies. Giants, Cards, Phillies. Okay. So then the third the third division team would be the Brewers. So the Brewers had would have to play the Phillies and the Cards would play the Giants. I'd have the Giants winning against the Cards and I would have the Brewers beating the Phillies. Yes. So the Brewers advance and so do the Giants now to play the Dodgers and the Braves. The Dodgers play the Brewers, I believe, in this scenario. And we beat the Brewers. The Braves play the Giants. Giants win. NL Championship game, Dodgers versus Giants. Mm, that's a close one. I'm just going to go with the Dodgers, but that could go either way. Then, so now we have the Dodgers versus Red Sox rematch in the World Series. Who would I have winning this? Of course, as a Dodgers fan, like I said, I would take the Dodgers. But the Red Sox, I don't know. This could go either way. I think this honestly goes to a Game 7 in my mind. And we'll just leave it at that. I won't say who I think wins that, but I do think it goes to a Game 7. Dodgers, Red Sox, that's my World Series. Of course, I want it to be Dodgers, White Sox. That way, either... if the, Of course, I would be really mad if the Dodgers lost. But I'd get over it quicker because my grandpa... And because I do like the White Sox, it wouldn't be as hard of a hit. I wouldn't be jumping up and down because the White Sox won. I'd be jumping up and down if the White Sox beat someone else and the Dodgers got eliminated earlier. I'd be really happy. But it was Dodgers-White Sox. I just won't be as mad if the White Sox beat us. So I want it to be Dodgers-White Sox. That way I either have at least a, some joy either way. I either am going crazy because the Dodgers won. Or the White Sox, one of my favorite teams, tied for second as my favorite team with the Rangers. They win. I'm still a little bit happy. I'm sore after the Dodgers losing, but I'm okay with it. So I want Dodgers White Sox, but I predict Dodgers Red Sox goes to a game seven, and I'll go over who I think wins that later. Just a little too early in the season for predicting the whole season. But that one could go either way. Flip the flip the coin. Here we'll just flip. What should we flip? Mm. Pen. If pen part that you write with points at me, Dodgers win. Okay, it went sideways, so long. This part face at me, so Penn thinks Red Sox win. Whatever. So yeah, that's the video, just kind of predicting how the season goes. So I think the division winners, again, are Dodgers, Brewers, Braves, and then now, and they are the Astros, White Sox, and Red Sox. And then I have the World Series being Red Sox versus Dodgers. My three wildcard teams for the two leagues in the AL. And they all had the Tampa Bay Rays. No, not the Rays. I had the Yankees, the Blue Jays, and the Seattle Mariners. And then in the NL, I had the Philadelphia Phillies, the St. Louis Cardinals, and the San Francisco Giants. But yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any more video ideas for, video ideas for me, let me know. Um, I'm going to do a couple more MLB videos. Well, no, I'm going to do a lot more MLB videos, but in the Next couple days before MLB season starts, I'll try to crank out a couple, and then I'll be... I'm going to try to get some basketball videos in, too, because you're about to be crowded with MLB crap in a couple days, because that's when the season starts, and I'll be going full steam. I'll be doing MLB team reviews. I'll be doing over-underrated, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. That's it. Peace.